Hello folks, uh, today we're dealing uh, with another problem on a Mercedes C-Class, this is 2016 model, and it's saying uh, error front left malfunction consult workshop, and if you hook it up to the computer, it gives you this error, U10887, and it says line bus 1 is faulty, the message is lost. So, uh, almost with 100% uh, assurance, I can say that it's a, it's a problem with the driver's seat. Uh, looking over the schematics, there's no problem with the airbag, even there's an airbag symbol on it. Uh, because in these days, uh, the Mercedes is more than a car, it's more computers on the wheels. There's about 54 uh, different uh, <laughs> uh, units here on this, on this vehicle. So... Uh, there is actually a unit in the driver's seat that communicates with the SRS module. So looking over the schematics, the N2-10 is the SRS module that controls basically the airbags that is hidden um, under the center console. And then from there, you can see on pin 25, there is a line, but it's basically a wire that is pink and black, and it keeps going to Z137, Z1, which is like a central hub for, it's like basically the connector where the line splits up. And then it keeps going. And number three is actually a connector under your seat, under your passenger seat. And then the line keeps going to N110, which is the weight sensor. Basically, it's checking if someone is sitting on the seat. If it's if it's not sitting on the seat, the airbag will not deploy. The reason why I'm saying it's the passenger seat because the airbag in front doesn't have a, a communication line. L I N states for local interconnected network. So it's in very simple way to explain. It's basically a, a computer network within whole car that communicates with the various. Uh, 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 communication units and central, central units so instead of running hundreds of cable they run one cable and then can kind of split and communicates with data so it doesn't say plus or minus voltage there is some small voltage going up and down but it's rather communication than plus and minuses so that pink and black line is either the cable is either disconnected to this point or from the central points to the connector or from connector to the weight sensor unit. So we'll check on that and hopefully we'll be able to sort out the problem. So the weight uh, sensor module is connected by this connector that has three wires. When you take it out, you will have a brown, pink, black, and green, pink. So the brown one is obviously a ground pink and black is the line one module that was the error I was getting on on the diagnostic that is going basically straight to the SRS module that communicates uh, with the seat if anyone is sitting on it if not the airbag will not deploy if there is a collision and the uh, pink green is your plus 12 volts that's pink green it's actually ending in uh, in a fuse box I'll show you which one is that. So that pink green cable is actually ending up up here with the 5 amp fuse, which is marked as F219. That's actually providing uh, 12 volts into that weight sensor. So uh, check your fuses. Obviously mine was fine. I actually measured it was giving me 12 volts. So the problem wasn't there, but this is quite easy check. So the pink green cable is your plus 12 volts. You can actually measure it. If you just dig a, a needle up here and put it against the uh, ground, you should measure 12 volts. The middle one, pink black, is the communication lane one that basically communicates, as I said, between the SRS module and the weight sensing sensor module. And um, I did check on continuity, continuity on that one and it was fine. Another way to check if the cable connection between the weight sensor, which is right up here, you can see it, 
and which that's actually the connector that goes into the weight, weight sensor and there is a pink and black wire that is going all the way to SRS unit that is basically on or module that is controlling your airbags and basically what I've got up here that cable is ending in this main connector and it's actually pin 25 so from this beginning you have pin 1 and it's going all the way to 26 so 25 is basically the one before last then you hook up your multimeter and you're gonna check continuity there we go the cable is all right here's my connection so if I disconnect I connect that cable again yeah well I'm trying to hold it with one hand then obviously that cable from that connector to SRS module is perfectly fine there is no broken cable in between and the brown is obviously your ground so when I measured this against the 12 volts and I took the ground from a car it was giving me 12 volts however when I measured the 12 volts between this cable and the ground I was getting only 5 volts so obviously the main problem is I'm not getting a proper ground on the on the brown cable and the brown cable is actually ending up in this main connector is this one right up here that that's the that's the one that's ending up here so that cable is attached to the body to the ground somewhere but not properly so what I actually done I put that connector back in and I took my ground from basically the light that is here in the glove box and I put that ground actually right up here with a needle so I had a proper ground start the car problem was gone no fault and no problem so obviously check check uh, all your uh, wires before you will rush and buy the module I'm not sure how much it cost but maybe probably you know maybe 100 quid or something and I basically this repair didn't cost me a penny so just use the logic try to find the wires obviously check if there is your proper ground if there is a plus 12 volts and uh, job done really how to fix that proper ground up here and going to that position one uh, you can either take a wire from uh, anywhere that you can find a proper connection to the to the body what I'm actually gonna do there's another ground cables over here so I'm gonna just uh, take a piece of wire and connect that ground to that ground ground is ground doesn't matter you know it's the same all over the car it's basically one massive piece of metal that is connecting a ground from your battery all over the vehicle so as long as it's proper it's there there's nothing you can mess up with that plus 12 volt, plus 12 volts is obviously a different story so I wouldn't mess with that one but the ground is just fine so that's how we can easily fix this if that doesn't help then obviously you will need to try to get that module right guys all done have fun so guys the problem is sorted as you can see no warning message on the dash no fault codes presented in the SRS system